keep quiet and we listen, you can actually hear how many elephants are around us. And they just keep, seem to keep more and more appearing. big old cows as well. And these two, or well that female in particular there, she's very big. These ladies are not looking in too bad a condition considering the, the circumstance at the moment. What are you doing, little monster? Oh, Jason saying that he's noticed a, a decline in the elephant help over the last month and is really hoping the rain comes early on September 8th. Jason, that would be quite nice. Unfortunately, I don't share your optimism there. I think we're only going to get rain deep into October. Oh no, November, sorry. Okay, let's just move forward a little bit. Due to this a drought we, we're having at the moment is, is why some of the elephants are losing condition. So far these ellies around us don't look too bad. Now look at that. Moving the dead branch to get to the other branches. Now that is a low fault milkberry which is not something we see elephants feed on too often. <laughs> Definitely a little boy. <laughs> it's it's so funny because it's it's I, I know we know it's going to happen a lot of the time, but I just I just can't help it. Gives me such a feeling of immense joy when a little elephant bull decides to uh, show us how tough he is. There, there we go. Now head turn, give us a sniff, make sure there's a bush between. Stay close to mom. <laughs> He's sniffing around in a little depression there that elephants would have dug out uh, during wetter months and probably would have, it would have definitely held water but the reason these ellies look to have dug here could be there's some... <laughs> I'm going to throw, I'm gonna throw, throw stuff at us now. One more time? For, just for fun? No. Looks like he's actually eating some of the soil. And uh, there's probably nice uh, mineral content in that soil. But we're going to sit here with this wonderful big herd of ellies. Uh, but James has got